No, because do you have any consensus amongst your community to make any kind of decisions in these conversations? And the same thing happened because you think to yourself that, yeah, you might have Bobo Shanti or 12 tribe of Israel or whatever be the case. And they can represent themselves. But at a particular level, everything that is happening is happening for Rastafari. You know? And with that as a, as a thing, those who try to go out there and ensure that they are Rastafari and they stand up for representation, you know, can get crucified. You understand? <laughs> So look, so that's how we're bridging them. We know, take up the mantle and realize themselves that government can't be a particular way and we all have a voice tonight. But quite necessarily, the rest of the community, because when this ganja thing came out and I went to one of my ancient and checked him and said to him, say, so what do you think about this ganja thing? Him just looked at me and said, it's another trick. There's <laughs> somebody with a suspicion deep with government. Understand the value with the community that trust them are rightfully so. So I think the conversation needs to start at a different level. You know, my deal with personally, amongst I and I self as Rastafari. So our representation can be a little bit clearer. I know straight up so when I speak, I do not speak on the behalf of no other group more than the group of I and them par. And then other groups who come together. Like, you know, in our immediate talk, we talk about like school of vision and other individual members and we sit down together and we come up with a consensus. Um, Empress Mother Moses, same way, Empress of Zion, and we come up with a consensus. Then we are represent that consensus. But, and it is an expansive process. So if one's want to be a part of it, fine, but at the same time, we cannot speak on the behalf of all the Rastafari. Rastafari, I forget interested in the situation because some good people there I assure you I, cause when I reach there and I say um, at first I meet sister Vicky you know, I look for her good you know I try to find Africa I never have to look far you understand what I do with people there in our system with good intentions I assure you I them fair people where there where want to see it change Babylon are implored from inside. Yes, I know my with you ones in there where really and truly I see it, so it can't continue the same way like how it's ago. And I and I have to look into them thing there, find out which part, because we're separated by everything. We're separated by Balin, we're separated by some of Christian, we're separated by some of this and some of that and some of that, and we are all African people. So we have to find a way to over harmonize. That is the work of Isla Selassina. To harmonize all of Ethiopia who is so scattered. So until we face that part of our journey, until we stand up to that part of our journey, and accept all ourselves for existing in our humanity and in our existence, I don't see which part much of these things or really work until the rest of our are centralized. We organize already, you know, no organization. But we need to centralize now for a purpose and for a mission. You see me? Okay. Capitalize on the weaknesses that will exist within the system. You know, and make it work. Yeah, Rastafari. Good job, sir. Yeah.